morning. It's good to be back. I was telling Father John, I, I kind of got it made. I have a whole month to prepare a homily because I only say a homily once a month and I know that what they're eating is. So, first I, I want to start with what's in here. It's important to know what's in here because that's what comes out of us. Are we prepared for the graces of, you know, any any situations that are brought before us, are we prepared to act in a Christ-like manner? I'm driving across I-10, um, I guess about three weeks ago, in a torrential downpour. And I got a light load on, and I fishtailed, I, I hydroplaned. I corrected it. But then maybe a half a mile further, I see a car in the median. And a little bit further, I see a car in the ditch. And this lady in the ditch gets out of her car, soaked as soon as she did it, put her purse on her shoulder and I'm thinking the purse is probably full of water. I don't know where she was going because we were in the stretch with nothing around us. But I got to thinking, because I had already been thinking about this homily and what's in our hearts and how, to, how we can train our hearts be filled with good. You know, they had their driver's licenses. We were all three in the same situation. I recovered through knowledge. These two didn't recover through lack of knowledge. And I, I thought, well, they had their driver's licenses. We maybe are all confirmed Catholics here. Maybe a few of us aren't yet, but so we go through confirmation. All right, we're good. We're Catholic. Just got to go to mass and and live like we were taught to live. I don't have to study anymore. Not true. You know, Catholic. We have the truth. Should be the ones standing on the rooftops sharing that truth. To know it is paramount to share it. To know it, you know, we think of Jesus' response when he was asked, who can be saved? And if we keep this in the back of our minds all the time, for humans it's impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Knowing that, Studying scripture, and I, I know the, the change that it made in my life with even losing my mom. I still didn't lose the happy in me. Just knowing and understanding, not just being a hearer of the word, but through understanding, I can be a doer of the word, and there's a happy that won't go away. I wish all of us had that, had that desire to know more, to have that happy soul that is impenetrable. And I think the, the answer is knowledge. The lack of knowledge, these, these two run off the road. Sure, running off the road didn't defile them, but it was lack of knowledge that put them there. I pray that we all desire that knowledge so we can stay on the right path. God bless.